Hi guys, welcome back to episode two of the Fireplace Makeover. I am so excited for today's video because in today's video, we're gonna apply the stone and put the fireplace in. This is something I've been looking forward to for so, so long and the day is here. If you haven't watched episode one, I'll be sure to link it down in the description box down below because trust me, you won't wanna miss that one. But without further ado, let's get into the final, probably makeover of the fireplace. Okay, so we put the fireplace in. We did it off camera because it really took both of us and there's just been a lot going on at the Walker household <laughs> lately, but the fireplace looks amazing, like incredible. For a fake fireplace, not fake, electric fireplace, this one is really actually good quality. I'll be sure to link it down below. Now it's not super cheap, I will tell you that, but you know, I was going through the hassle of doing this whole, you know, fireplace moment and I didn't want anything super cheap in there. So I did splurge on this piece and honestly, I feel like it's gonna be worth it because it just looks so, so good. First, we started by cleaning up our mess, and if you know me, you know I love vacuuming, so this was so, so satisfying. So we just went around, cleaned up all the dirty mess, just so that we can kind of start fresh. The next thing I did was kind of took some stones and kind of laid them out just to kind of give get a visual idea of what they would look like. I know I say this in every video, but I just love that she is so into what we're doing and wants to be involved. And you never know, maybe one day Willow will have a little DIY YouTube no, channel of her own. So we can see. There you go. Does that look good there? All right, now go put it back in the pile for when we're ready for it. Before we can get to applying the stone, we wanted to make sure that we really protected the fireplace. I didn't want any part of this fireplace to be scratched. I wanted it to be in pristine condition. So Chris and Willow did the honors of taping the fireplace off. This is the first time that we tried to apply the stone to the wall and Chris has done plenty of tiling in the past, but for some reason this was not as easy as I thought. And I wanted to be sure to include this in the YouTube video because not every DIY is gonna go super smoothly. You're gonna have trial and error and you're just gonna learn and that's the beauty of it all. When we kept applying these stones, for whatever reason, they kept coming off and we just could not figure out why. We had the mortar, we were applying it the way that we thought would stay, but they kept just slipping. Oh, I like that a lot, Chris. That looks good. And this is how you get projects done around the house with toddlers and babies, is you just involve everybody. And this is when the project started to move right along. We decided to spray the mortar that we had on the wall so that it wasn't so dry because we noticed that anytime we would apply the mortar to the stone and then put it on the wall, it would quickly absorb it and that's why it wasn't sticking. So once we started doing this technique and made the mortar that we were applying to the stone a little bit more wet, the project went so, so quick. Will sing about your heart. Maybe 
So we started by spraying the wall and then spraying the stone, and then we would apply the mortar. Then we took a quick break and decided to head to Home Depot. We wanted to look for some grout and then also a mantle. I had to document this moment because this was the first time I had both of my kids in a cart together and I just could not get over Willow driving with Zion's arms out the window. All right, we're at Home Depot trying to find wood to make a mantle. Oh my God. This one is actually kind of perfect. Look at that. Oh my God. I love that. Or there's this one. So when it came to finding our mantle, I really wanted to get a custom one done. We have a cabin up in Oregon at my grandpa's house and we had to sadly cut down a tree that had been there for over a hundred years. We saved all the wood for it and I wanted to make a mantle out of it, but you know, I wanted my fireplace before Christmas and I had no idea when we were gonna be able to go back to Oregon. So I decided that we should go look at Home Depot. Well, not me, Chris decided we should look at Home Depot. We came across this one piece of wood. It was the only one left and it was left because because it had dings and scratches and was just in the worst shape, but that's actually what attracted me to it. I loved the rusticness and beat upness of the wood, if that makes sense. So we just brought it home, we measured it, and we cut it to size. Okay, now that we found the mantle, brought it in from outside, we cut it to size and oh my gosh, it's so heavy. So now Chris just drilled some holes in the side and I am just gonna put it on. Oh. Let's see. I don't think it's gonna fit actually. Oh. Chris. What? It's not working. I did it. Be gentle. How do I get it in though? Push. So then I, now I just need to push it on like that. Yeah. But it doesn't go. It does. You're just probably putting it on crooked. Okay. Take two. Take two. All right. That's good. It doesn't go on all the way. I know. <laughs> it's not on. Let me see. Oh. It is on all the way. It isn't. Okay, take three. No, Chris, it doesn't. Oh wait, I think it's upside down. No. no it's not. You're gonna have to do it. It's on all the way. It is? How is it? Okay, so we have successfully hung our mantle. I feel like for $50 at Home Depot, we got a really good deal. This looks a lot like the inspiration photo that I found on Pinterest. So I am super, super excited for this. And now we'll get back to putting the stones on the wall and the mantle and the fireplace are coming along. my 
window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door on that side, they're all big stones, and on that side, it's all little stones. <laughs> so I need you to balance it out. Why don't you do it, honey? Do you want me to? Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Okay. After he got over my side commentary and just basically telling him where I want every single stone placed, he got back to work quickly and we started finishing this fireplace. Once we figured out the right concoction as far as like spraying the wall, spraying the stone, applying the mortar, it actually went really quick and I'm so glad we decided to do this and I cannot wait to see the final step. I know in the beginning of this video I thought that this would be the last and final episode but I'm sorry there's going to probably be a couple more. I wanted to give you guys a quick sneak peek at what it looked like when we finished doing all of the stone. Honestly, I'm not sure how much I love it like this, so I think I might be whitewashing it, but I wanted to make sure that you guys saw it before because I know the whitewashing thing might be a little love and hate depending on who you are, but we also had to move the couch because we're going to get ready to put our Christmas tree up and I wanted to give you guys a look at what it looks like from the kitchen gonna make such a huge difference.